Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, we're going over a Lua Conjunction Survival Guide. If you don't know, there are two new nodes which have unlocked on Lua for new game modes in this latest Lua's Prey update patch. That is Uvarium and Circulus right here. They do require you to have the War Within completed, but other than that, if you have Lua unlocked, you might actually be able to go run these. Uvarium is the low level conjunction survival mission, and Circulus is the high level survival mission. As well as, there is a shop on the Xeramon on the Chrysalith with Yonta that sells items related to these two maps, as these two maps drop an item called Lua Thraxplasm. And you can use that resource to either build materials, you know, Varuna or her weapons, which drop on these two maps, or you can buy it from Yonta on the Xeramon. As far as survivals go, Uvarium and Circulus have pretty regular drop tables, as two A drop rotations at a 5 and 10 minute mark, and then the B drop rotation at the 15 minute mark, and C drop rotation at the 20 minute mark. Uvarium overall has lower drop chances for the weapons and Warframe parts, etc., while Circulus will have the higher drop rates. That's just because Circulus is the higher level, so, you know, better drop rates. So if you're trying to get items, run the higher level one. Not too surprising. So that's all the normal stuff about these Lua Conjunction Survival Missions, right? They have a normal drop table, their regular 5, 10, 15, 20 minute drop rotations, rinse, repeat. It's a regular survival, but it has a handful of different tips and tricks. There's about like three special things going on with this map. First and foremost is you can actually spawn a Necromech on these two new Lua survival nodes. The Necromech spawn is ridiculously overpowered, so it is on a timer. Once you spawn the Necromech, you only have him spawned in for two minutes. Once he despawns, you'll be in him and he'll just straight up die or like blow up in a ragdoll and run around, so kinda sad there. But every 10 minutes, you can respawn your Necromech. And I believe there is a Necromech, uh, Railjack, sorry, Intrinsic for this, which actually makes it so you can spawn him every seven and a half minutes. So if you put the Necromech on your gear wheel, use it on the Lua Conjunction survival nodes. But yeah, only two minutes at a time because the Necromech is so ridiculously overpowered. You can sit in your fourth mode in the original uh, Necromech, in your like tank siege cannon mode, and constantly kill everything for two straight minutes and have no problem whatsoever. So it does make sense why they put a timer on it. I I know some people will get mad, but it's essentially just a to combat like AFK style no gameplay Warframe because you can just sit in a room with a Necromech, with a Protea, with uh, the Dispensary and just sit in your fourth ability and kind of like run the survival on Steel Path endlessly. And that doesn't make for like good gameplay, so yeah, it does make sense. Next off, with something special with the Lua survival missions. Every five minutes, once a drop table rotation is done, Thrax enemies, Lua Thrax enemies will spawn in. I think like two or three spawn in initially and then like one extra for each other person. So there's not too many that spawn in, but a handful do spawn in. These Lua Thrax enemies should have a notification on them for you to kill them, right? Because when these enemies are spawned, they will drain your life support at like a 50% rate increase. So you want to kill them as soon as you possibly can so that you do not lose life support at like a fast rate, right? Pretty normal, understandable, don't want to die. So just get them killed off. Since they are like a Thrax enemy, you've seen them on the Xeramon if you played there, they're kind of special. First, you have to kill them with like just regular weapons, what have you. You kill the regular body, then they go into like their ghost hollow mode, whatever it's actually called, where you can like see through it. It goes ghost mode, and you'll have to shoot it with your amps, pretty much kill it off with void energy, right? I think like, uh, I think Zaku's void damage still works, but I could be wrong on that. So you have to kill the enemies twice. Once you do kill them, they'll drop some Lua Thraxplasm. All is well and good. 
And you will also get some Thraxplasm, Lua Thraxplasm, as like a general drop rotation reward as well. So you kill off them, get some Thrax, and then you just like get a little bit here and there every rotation, uh, because every five minutes, once you kill them off, hey, you get Lua Thraxplasm. Bada bing, bada boom, it's good loot. I think in around 20 minute steel path survival nodes on the higher level mission, I get about 50 Lua Thrax, maybe like 40 to 50. I can't fully remember, but I remember getting around 50. So yeah, think about that what you will. Now, the final special thing in regards to this mission. There is a Teshin soldier, Lua guardian, lone guardian, that just kind of walks around the mission, right? It has like the Duveri colorless area. He just walks around and kind of has a buff, right? This wanderer will go from like support capsule to support capsule just chilling. So he will have the AOE buff of ability strength 100% increased and casting speed increased by 50%. So essentially stay near this Teshin Dax dead guardian thing and get a buff. The buff lasts only like five seconds once you leave the actual bubble, so if you're planning on ability spamming and doing stuff like that, yeah, go find the bubble, sit in the bubble, use the bubble, and then you should be good to go. So everyone, that's about all there is to this new Lua Conjunction survival mission. I hope this guy did help, and if it did, as always, like, comment down below, subscribe as it always supports the channel, and the YouTube algorithm god loves it. You can check me out on Twitch, any other social medias in the description below as well. I'm pretty much everywhere. And you can use the Epic Game Store creator code PUPSKER if you ever buy anything on the Epic Game Store. Thank you. It all helps at the end of the day. So I appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Peace.